Uganda's oldest university, Makara University, is celebrating its centenary this year. For over a long time, out of the nine halls of residence at Makara University, six halls are for the male students and these include Lumumba Hall, Mitchell Hall, Livingstone Hall, Insibira Hall, and the three halls that is to say Mary Stewart Hall, Africa Hall, and Complex Hall are for the female students. Aikoro Sandra, a year two student doing journalism and communication attached to Africa Hall, says that the advocacy for construction of more female halls is a good move because there is overpopulation in the female halls of residence. Number one, you realize there are more female students in campus compared to the males. The female halls are overpopulated. So you realize most of other female students are forced to look for alternatives, which could be hostels or rentals, but you know, not everyone can afford those. So I believe that the university should look into the matter of having more rules of residence for females. The ratio of females to males at Macquarie University is 2 to 1, meaning there are more female students compared to the male students. Some of the students here say that the female students are being exposed to insecurity because most of them stay outside campus in areas around Chikoni, Chikumi, Chikumi, among others. There's no way you can tell me that the tender and fragile girls, most of them are sleeping out, and us, the masculine boys, we are sleeping in here. So it could have been the reverse, so the opposite of the reality that we're having more girls holes than boys holes. Because you realize these people moving from Chikoni, this is a hill, mm -hmm. moving from Chikoni up to here to access lectures is a bit for us, the Masichulian people. So forcing these people living out, because most of them are living out, is like pushing them into a cocoon of insecurity. So I think it's very absurd and not worth the noting in the books of history. History will not forgive you, the administrators. They also add on to, to say that a lot of violence is seen from the university because male halls are many and this would not be the case if females are residing at campus. We the boys are the people who incite violence. So it could have been even better to have all the halls belonging to girls and as the boys were living out as a way of fighting violence and insecurity in this university. One of the female students named Priska, a resident at Complex Hall, says that her being a female student, she faces a lot of challenges in her hall of residence. We sleep three people per room, which is quite inconveniencing because the space is small. And given the fact that we have only three halls for girls, which is a bit challenging for space where to put your things, and yet we have to minimize so that also your second other two roommates have to share with you that same space. You know, there's a time where you need your privacy and stuff, but then you have to share this space with these other two people. So it's, I find it quite challenging. Makere University is marking 100 years of its existence this year. The students here are facing a lot of challenges that they want the administration to put all their challenges into consideration. Across Rachel, reporting live from Makere University.